everybody. Uh, this lesson, this calculus lesson is on uh, implicit differentiating with uh, related rates. Here we're going to have a, a ladder uh, sliding down a wall, a fire burning, and so, uh, and then one more. Oh, a water tank being filled, uh, the water tank in the shape of a cone. So real classic calculus kind of problem. So recall uh, dx dt and dy dt are related rates. They're related rates with respect to time. So, um, uh, so this says uh, related uh, their derivatives with respect to time. So we're just uh, uh, you know instead of dy dx or dy dt's and dx dt's and everything else. So with respect to time procedures. All right. So go ahead and you're going to make a picture. Label the the constants, uh, the ones that don't change in the entire problem, and then assign variables to the unknowns. Okay. So that way you can write an equation that relates to whatever you're talking about. Okay, and then you can insert uh, uh, all your const, uh, constants and your rates and stuff. So then you um, then you take the derivative of everything, implicit uh, uh, differentiate with respect to time. Okay, so you're going to have a d everything with all the variables in there. Okay, and then plug in the values and solve. All right, so here we go. Here's our 20 foot ladder. It leans against the wall, and the bottom of the ladder slides away from the wall at two feet per second. How fast does the ladder slide down the wall when the top of the ladder is 12 feet above the ground? Okay, here we go. Here's my groovy picture that I, I just clipped out of uh, Google Images here. So, got this ladder that's against the wall. The ladder's 20 feet long. Okay, and it's sliding down, and the bottom of the ladder here is sliding away at 2 feet per second. Okay? So, obviously, we're going to use a Pythagorean theorem on this one right here. Okay, and then so if this is x right here, that's this guy is x right here. So then this is my dx dt. It's my it's my change. It's my uh, related uh, rate that that's coming out right there. So that's dx dt. Okay, so x squared plus y squared equals 20 squared. There's my equation, um, and then we're looking for uh, dy. I'm looking for. Uh, it's asking for. Um, how fast is the ladder slide down the wall when the top of the ladder is 12 feet above the ground? Okay, so so here we go. We're going to go ahead and differentiate. So I'm looking for how fast is this ladder going down this way right here? This is a dy, and it's going to be negative because it's going because it's going down, you guys. Okay, all right. So um, so when I differentiate this, this is going to be 2x dx plus 2y dy, and then equals zero right here. That's what that equation says down there. Okay, and um, uh, do I know x? Let's see. When the, yeah, that's going to be my 12. Or I'm sorry, when it's uh, 12 feet above the ground, that's my y. So I'm going to have to figure out x by using the Pythagorean theorem with my 12 right there. So, uh, so here, uh, if I go ahead and uh, plug in 12 and 20 and use the old Pythagorean theorem, I get x to be 16. So now I think I know everything. I know 2, I know x, I know dx is that 2, and then uh, I know y is 12, and dy, that's what we're looking for. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we get uh, dy to be a negative 8 thirds feet per second. So it's coming down the wall. It's negative because it's coming down. So it's, it's uh, sinking down the wall uh, negative 8 thirds or negative 2 and uh, 2 thirds feet per second. Okay, real easy, you guys. Okay, so here's another one. Two cars approach the same intersection along perpendicular roads. Car A travels at 20 miles per hour while car B travels at 40 miles per hour. Find the rate at which the cars approach each other when the uh, car A is one quarter of a mile from the intersection and car B is one half of a mile. Okay, I don't have a fancy picture on this. <clears throat> okay, now, so, whoops, these are fractions, you guys. This should be dA over dt and dB over dt. I didn't put my fraction bars in there. But it's going this way, and uh, it's negative because they're shrinking, uh, uh, they're shrinking distances. They're getting smaller and smaller. So anyway, so dA that's going this way is, is 20 miles per hour, and dB that's going this way is 40 miles per hour. Again, they're negative because they're getting uh, less and less, so um, the destinations are shrinking. There we go. There's my fraction bars. Okay, so, um, and it's asking, uh, find the rate at which the cars are approaching each other. Okay, so if that's, if this is C right here, I'm looking for DC right here because as I'm going this way and going this way, the cars are approaching each other with this red line right here. Okay, again, the Pythagorean theorem, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. And when I uh, implicit differentiate, uh, I get 2A DA plus 2B DC, uh, DB equals 2C DC. Okay, <clears throat> now I know 2. Do I know A? I do. It's a quarter of a mile at that my specific time. 
and b is a half of a mile. So I'm going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem with another right triangle. And don't freak out with, with fractions, you guys. So it's going to be 1 fourth squared plus 1 half squared equals c squared there. And then, then I should have everything in there. And I'm, again, I'm looking for dc right here. Okay, so the uh, school I go to is called uh, Del Campo that I teach at. So we're called dc. Never mind, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyways, so here we go. Um, I do know the, the rates, so negative 20 and negative 40, and I'm looking for that. And then I know A now. Uh, A is going to be that 1 fourth, so I did that on this next picture over here. All right, so right up here, that's 1 fourth, 1 half. So when I square those and add them together, I get 5 sixteenths. So C is the square root of 5 sixteenths, which is uh, root 5 over 4. Okay, so that's where I put it in right there. Everything else is put in. Okay, 1 fourth of negative 20 is negative 5. This is plus negative 20. Gets me a negative 25. All right, and then I uh, multiply by the inverse of uh, this guy right here, and I get uh, the answer is negative 100 over root 5, which is uh, negative 25 root, or 20 root 5 negative uh, miles per hour. And, I, you know, you might want to change that to a decimal, and, and it's negative because they're getting closer to each other. All right, let's try one more of these, you guys. All right, so fire spreads in a, a circular, actually two more, in a circular pattern. The radius is increasing at 6 feet per minute. Find the rate at which the fire's area increases when the radius is 150. Okay, so there's my, my radius is increasing at 6 feet per minute, and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So when I differentiate, I get 2a pi times 2r dr. Okay, so now I know that r is 150. I know that um, uh, dr is uh, 6, and I'm looking for the rate at which the fire's area increases. So I'm looking for da, so it's just plugging in the numbers there. And I get 1,800 pi feet squared per minute. And since it's an area, area is always square units, volume is always cubic units, and everything else is always just uh, units, okay? So make sure you put your, your problem into context, okay? So, yeah, just be careful if part of the problem is in inches or in feet, whatever the rate is, everything needs to be the same, okay? Um, okay, so like on this one here, this is what I'm talking about. A water tank is in the shape of a right circular cone has a height of 12 feet and a base radius of 6. If water is pumped into the tank, now the cone is upside down, like an ice cream cone that you're holding. That's how it's in that position. Water is pumped in the tank at 10 gallons per minute. Okay, and I and notice here's the conversion. Since that's in feet, i got to have this in feet. So 10 gallons per minute is, and this is given to us, 1.34 feet cubed per minute. Okay, cubed because it's in volume. Find the rate at which the water level rises when the water of the tank is three feet deep. Okay, so there's my groovy water tank right there. Okay, and water's being pumped in, so this is volume. It's getting pumped in. That's my dV at, at uh, 1.34 feet cubed per minute. Okay, 12 feet high. The radius is six feet, and I'm looking for when this is three, I'm looking for how fast is this water level rising. So this is dH dt. Okay, if that's my H right there. All right, so volume of a cone, you guys, is one-third pi times R squared H. Okay, now I have too many variables happening in here. I got a R squared. Let's, let's eliminate a variable. Check this out. The radius is 6, and the height is 12. So the radius is one-half the height right there. Okay, and then so I can go ahead and plug in. This is H over 2. I plug that in for my radius right there. And there's my volume formula. And I'd rather differentiate that so I don't have to deal with all the you know, other things. I have just two variables here. Okay, so I'm going to get dV equals the 3 is going to come down. 3 pi over 12 H squared, which is uh, pi over 4 uh, uh, H squared. Okay, and then uh, let's see, do I know everything? Okay, so now uh, uh, let's see, when the water is three feet deep, so my three feet deep is my H right now that I plug in, and I'm looking for, and I know my dV is that 1.34, so I'm looking for my dH. How, how much is it rising? Okay, it's just number crunching now, you guys. So, so when you get all of that, you end up getting uh, 0.19 feet uh, per minute. Okay, and notice that's not squared or anything, because that's just a linear motion, how fast it's rising right there. Alrighty, uh, what else? I had something else right here. Oh yeah, um, volumes in cubic units, areas in square units. Alright, if you're in my calculus class, I would assign that as your homework. Take care.